We have to do everything in our ability to prevent civilian casualties. I add my remarks about the moral category not for nothing because our opponents mingles and mixes with innocent civilians. Uh, they are in a different moral category. I mean, we do not intentionally kill. They behead people. They burn schools. They kill women and children. In the last few years, by our Minister of because the bottom line here should be for NATO and is for NATO that every single innocent civilian life lost in Afghanistan is one too many. Our fight against terrorism is part of the Afghan people's struggle for justice. For those Afghans living in the southern provinces of, of Afghanistan who face murder and destruction at the hands of terrorists, or even to those civilians who inadvertently fall victim to counter-terrorism operations, demand on justice is reduced to a bleak minimum, that is, upholding the very fundamental right to life and districts. Fortunately, there could be no, there could not be a better time for such a need. The Independent Human Rights Commission has also documented distressing instances of civilian casualties resulting from the operation of international forces. We all recognize that the ongoing anti-government insurgency threatens the very foundations of the African states, and that it must be defeated. But in countering it, Afghan and international forces have to act strictly in accordance with international humanitarian law. Embody. Ladies and gentlemen, we must take heart 